Welcome to episode 15 of Bullish. So happy you're here. We are actually, more importantly, first episode in 318. Um, yeah, so we're back in Warville. Uh, we're going to be testing out our bread and butter run, our titanium run. We're going to be getting our C2, flying out to Ariel, uh, more likely going to Lathan, and then coming back and selling our titanium. In case you haven't realized, the ASOP terminals have also changed. So with that, uh, in the past we've talked about titanium being 7.10 per unit. They, uh, they being CIG, have gotten rid of the CSEU. Now it's just SEU. So and before with our C2s we had 69,600 CSEU. Now it's just 696 SEU. Makes the math a little bit easier. I think it's I think it's better. It's refining it. It's uh, not really needed to to go to break it down to that small of a level with the CSU. Um, and so I did run a Benedict run last night, and the price is still the same. So instead of seven point ten, it's seven hundred ten. So I still made about one hundred twelve k profit. One hundred twelve k profit. Um, but before getting to that, let's take a moment and let's to our sponsors from SC Wealth Corp. This episode of Bullish is brought to you by our good friends at SC Wealth Corp. Stop the grind, find a community. At SC Wealth Corp, you will find a vast variety of events with massive rewards, huge lottery size giveaways, and the unique casino. So come hang out, try your luck, and win some Alpha UEC. But more importantly, find a solid community. They offer 1 million Alpha UEC just for joining the Discord channel. That's right, no strings attached. Just join the Discord channel. And for those wishing to skip the grind, they offer safe, risk-free Alpha UEC purchase options so you can jump straight into the Star Citizen action. SC Wealth Corp. Stop the grind. Find a community. Link to the Discord is below in the description. Welcome back. So, again, this is Bullish. This is your one-stop shop for all things cargo hauling, commodity trading. If it goes in the if it th goes in the back of a ship and we haul it, we're going to talk about it. Uh, so one thing that I, I do want to preface before I start doing like our POTs and stuff like that is my C2 is stock. I did not upgrade the quantum drive and it is super slow to spool. Um, with this current state of the game, maybe with 18.1 or 18.2, it'll change and components will be okay to put on your ship. But right now it's just a waste of money to put them on there. People are losing them left and right. And uh, what I noticed yesterday, instead of the normal 18 to 20 minute range, I hit 24 minutes. So, yikes, but it it's all right. Not the best. I did lose 84,000 last night in my Freelancer Max. So I wanted to do some runs in that just to see money-wise how much it is. Unfortunately, we hit a 30K and with that, I lost all of it. There's no 30K protection right now. And so another reason why um, cargo is just in a state right now that is just really dangerous. There's no 30K protection. Pirates are everywhere now. They're, it's just, it's rough. So, but hey, we're gonna keep chugging along. Uh, if you haven't checked out the other channels I've got going on, or the other shows, I guess better would say it. The Stant Startup, it's another good one to check out. It's our Rags Riches story, but let's get started with Bullish. Littering in, littering in. I know a lot of people are having troubles getting in, logging in. Uh, I did at first when when 318 first dropped, and then of course I went on 
vacation for about a week. And I haven't had any issues really logging in. Hangar 5. So I do want to start testing some of the other ships, the Freelancer Maxes. Uh, when I saved up enough, I'll buy a Taurus. I got the whole A and a Cuddy Black also. Maybe we'll do some of those runs in those. Um, just to eventually get what is good and bad. So in the C2, we want, what, over 5K, I think, for a profit over time. But there's no way you're going to make 5K a minute in whole a right but there's got to be a sweet spot for them as well so we're going to start doing some research on some of the other small ships the c2 is still the go-to for min maxing cargo um, caterpillars are close behind they are 572 seu so and i may be wrong a little bit on that i'm glad they fixed the c2 Elevator, so it doesn't just fall out of the sky. Um, so while while a caterpillar is good, when it comes to min maxing, C2 is still better. It flies better. It's faster. Has well over a hundred more SEU. Um, they're not that far off in pricing, so uh, I want to say C2 is 4.9 million off top, and the cut the uh, caterpillar is not too far behind. And you can use the C2 for more. Like if you end up doing jump town, you want to have ballistic, ballistas in the back, something like that, you're good to go. So no issues there. Oh, did I do it? Oops, sorry, I did the launch thing. Silly dual sticks. Alright. We're going to go to Ariel and over to Lathan. Cool. As always, some of our pre flight checks. I like VTOL on. Um, if you want to throw all your powered shields to get them up to max as soon as possible, that's okay too. I throw decoys. Let's add more decoys. As you can tell, I have a lot. I'm going to see two. Get those uh, queued up, ready to go. Um, go ahead and get your plot set if you can. Sometimes you can't. Uh, that's it. Let's get let's get going. Come on, don't be silly. Raise our gear. Let's go ahead and start our timer as well. I didn't put on the thing for that. So we'll be doing it old school and on the phone. Next video, I'll have it up and running again in the corner so you can see actual time. All right, clock started. All right, get rid of Vito. Get rid of Vito. You stink. I got a dual sticks going. Sometimes it's just kind of wonky. Why is my speed not up? See, it's stuff like that that messes with your POT. I do have a vulture. I went ahead and bought one. I've done a little bit of vulture salvaging to save up to start doing my cargo stuff so that kind of brings us to our next question how much money should I have to start doing cargo um, up to you in a perfect world I'd have double what I'm going to invest up front so with titanium you're looking about 500k needed to spend on titanium um, so in theory you want about a million before you start doing that I'm rolling the dice and not doing that 
I have a little over 600k in the bank right now, and I'm just going to go for it. Hopefully we don't have 30k. And as you can tell, my quantum drive taking forever to spool up. I think the C tools default base model comes with like the slowest quantum drive out there. So we just gotta be careful of Pyrex and stuff right now. In the past with the uh was it the TS2 just pulls up real quick? That's what I go with. Plus the uh, the 86s for shields, and of course the GS was it I think 500s for the power plants. Come on, eating time, eating time. Take a drink of the scotch. Two and a half minutes so far. shooting should be a ping oh jeez oh well get our brakes and VTOL going should be close to that 5k mark yep so speed down so usually about five, 5,000 meters out, I'll drop the landing gear and go into VTOL. All right, we're good here. Drop your max speed down a little bit. Look, some gems, huh? Modifier button not working. I don't know why. There we go. So let's go ahead and pre position our flight back, get our flight plan in. Just makes it for taking off really easy. One less thing to worry about. Come on. That's not good. Oh well. Don't forget why I before you Y, meaning turn your engines off before you stand up. And the unlikely event somebody gets in your ship. So again, we're going to do our titanium bread and butter run just to give a baseline for our cargo. Make sure nothing outlandish to change except for, of course, the CSU being gone and only doing SU. I send it back up. Not to say you have to, but 
for my own mental well-being. I send it up. Do I loot during car runs? Yes and no. Um, red boxes I will. Especially early game like this. All right, here's a new ASAP terminal. If you haven't seen it yet. We are going into our Hercules. It was saying pop. We're gonna be buying titanium. See right there, the 710 unit. All right, they got max inventory in right now, which is 8,000 SU of titanium. And so we can buy it at the lowest you're gonna get it. Which is, boom. Let's do Lathan, titanium. Getting it at 710, which is 494. 100. If I remember correctly, as long as it's under 714, you're making over 100k. See, over there, our 696 SU is filled. You can go all the way down and full. Done and done. So our POT is not going to be great on this. Probably again around the 24 minute range, but we'll we'll get it down. And once I get it, we're able to upgrade our components. And uh 318.1. We're good. So, hopefully we don't lose this amount, because uh, that's pretty much all I got in the bank. There's our full cargo hold. As always, don't forget at the end, we'll, we'll do a summary of everything. All right, eyes back up, get our speed all the way up. As you can tell, our, our decoys are down again, so make sure you re, re those up. We already have our flight plan up, so let's get our quantum drive going. I don't know why that's acting like that. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, my modifier button's not working. Seriously? My station. Killing me. Give me an only marker. Let's go. So if you can't, like I, like I haven't been able to get it to lock in on where I wanted to go. Just 
fly out somewhere like an OM mark or anywhere really and it works after that I don't know why but get away from the station get away from the planet find an OM marker find a station like Everest Harbor fly to it and then you should be able to plot your course as you can tell it's killing me on this time my POT is going to be garbage wait for that stupid thing to spool up let's go Ugh, we're at 12 minutes. So the good thing also about this route is you're not going to be snared. They cannot, uh, you can't be interdicted by players in here on this route. There's just not enough time, not enough distance for them to do it. Not to say that AI couldn't get you, but at least not players. Oh, no. So you're just hitting 50%. Gosh, this quantum drive sucks. Littering in. There we go. So you notice as we pull this up, uh, flying to space stations or outposts, whatever you call them, I leave my quantum drive up and spooled because it gives me a marker on where to go. However, here I know exactly where to go. I don't need it. Why is my speed all the way down? You will wait for the ATC, oh, there it is. So, landing gear VTOL, and let's get ourselves a place to land. alert we're just uh, lining up the ship Don't judge me on landing. Alert. Still getting used to all right, we're just gonna do auto land. Safer. I can't I can't afford to blow up. All right, the other thing we've, we're going to do, and I got the numbers last time, is how much we're spending in fuel and repair. Uh, my run yesterday was like 1600 in fuel. And as you can hear, so 50. 
51 and 1464. So about $1,500. And it does matter. I have it for you. Why? Here we go. Take a look at the commodities as we go. Normally I would cut out all the flight in, in between, and just give you the shots at both terminals. We talked a few things and just trying to shorten videos and keep it relevant and things you actually want to hear about instead of me just yammering because in theory I should cut all this out No value added to the video. Come on. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. I like to store my ship. Maybe it just gives me that warm fuzzy. I don't know. Just my preference. Gotta run to the station, right? Gotta run. Trespassing or attempting There's talks of them doing a wipe when they do three eighteen one or three eighteen two. There's a, a bug I've heard in refining that someone's also saying in drug sales. I haven't seen it. So what well, was going to be a partial wipe? They're talking about maybe doing a full wipe again. I don't think they've confirmed it yet either way. Next stop, Central Station. I'm okay with the full wipe. Even though I'll start over from scratch again. But... I can see why people who are exploiting those bugs would be upset. Ooh, excuse me, yawning. Am I out of scotch? Drinking a 12 year Aberfeldy. forever don't forget when you're factoring in your uh, profit over time to sp always set your start and stop time of your watch and wherever that's at. For me, it's takeoff to terminal. So really as soon as I take off from the hangar, 
timer comes on. And then when I get all the way to the selling terminal, like as we're on our way right now, that's when I stop the timer. Get out of the way, people. Yeah, coming up on 22 minutes. Definitely can get there before the 23 minute mark. Depending on how far along we are into this. We'll determine if I round it up or down. There we are, and that's uh, 2220, so we're gonna call it an even 20 minute, 22 minutes. Yep, 22 minutes. Let's go sell, see how much we made. I always go to the third terminal because when you look down from here, there used to be a really bad glare. So I just found this one to be the least glare ish or whatever that word is. All right, so now we go up here to our C2, select it, it'll auto populate. Fill in slowly, there we go. Go to sell. And what's nice, like see they have high inventory right now. So it's they were the only giving us 857. <laughs> Normally, I think I remember correct the old the old um Buying price used to be 8.9, so it should have been 890 right now. So 857. Here we go. Sell it all. So we're gonna make 596,900. And remember, we bought it for 494, so it's gonna be profit of just over 102. Thousand, um, and yesterday was about one hundred twenty. So the difference between like yesterday's when I ran it, I was being I was able to sell it at eight hundred and seventy six per unit. So eight seventy six today was eight fifty seven. So that that drop of just twenty per unit cost me 15,000 a profit. Come on, accept the order. And as we were calculating our expenses, that 102K is really 100K. So yep, very high inventory now. Don't, don't be surprised that that drops. Gold. 636. See, there's a Grecium per unit, 2750. If you can fill up with that, that's awesome. Acetine. They're paying, that's, that's pretty standard. You should be buying around 700 per unit and selling at 900. Laronite. Everybody's been selling Laronite, looks like. So don't do that. Alrighty. So as usual, this is the end of the stream. We sold everything and we're gonna go over uh, the stats for everything. So we'll start off with our net profit. That's our total cost and our total, our, our gross expenses and our gross profit in my sound of that. And that's how we get about 102K. That's our net profit. Our profit over time we said was 22 minutes. So it's 22 minutes. And um, route runtime, of course. Sorry, that's not our POT. Our route runtime was 22 minutes. 
Let's do the math and do our POT next. And so our POT is the other stat we need to track. Those are the big ones. Um, so yeah, thank you guys again for episode 15 of Bullish. Um, as we navigate the murky waters of 318, we're going to keep plugging along, keep chugging along, doing our cargo stuff. Uh, got some stuff in the works for some other uh, content here in our court media company. Uh, but still bullish. Thank you guys for making bullish popular. I really enjoy the cargo. If you guys want me to run a certain commodity and do the min max, let me know. If there's a certain ship you want me to try and get, I will ask and see if I can get it and run it. And we can kind of play with the numbers and get some baselines for that, that ship. But if you can get a C2, get a C2. That's really where you're going to make your max profit when it comes to cargo running. Um, I'll settle for Caterpillar if you can get a Caterpillar. The aesthetics of it. So thank you guys again, and I will see you next time.